what's up everybody the big hot topic for arc age is the ion design patterns and it's a huge topic because we've been waiting for well over six months for the ion designs to come into the game in a better system they have shrunken it down from 20 designs down to three a few months back and supposedly increase the drop rate in the library but let's be honest here guys who really does the library and grinds the library not many players so the next fix for this so the next fix for this that XL games has done in all the other regions has been implemented the Ion Odd designs in the merit badge store for a lot of merit badges. I believe it's like 700 merit badges or so in different regions. And this is now what we anticipated for our region, but we found out why we're not getting it in this last live stream. So the devs went to Korea, Krollin comes back and gives us this uh, statement. This is uh, transcribed directly from the live stream. And so Krollin is, um, Ion Odd patterns I've seen come up several times, no shit. Uh, basically, what we are doing with that is, was uh, since we are getting closer to 2.9 and 2.9 features the introduction of Obsidian Tier 7 items, it's more an appropriate time to start introducing Ionod to the world at a better ratio. The proposal from Excel was to introduce it as a merit badge system, kind of like they did in Korea. Um, I'm personally against that because I saw what it did to the Korean servers, where instead of being this thing that you kind of like work for, that it is um, attainable by high-end players is just, it became a matter of just having additional counts and logging in alts and, you know, spending a thousand a labor day to get your Ionod patterns. And that's kind of like, no, contradicting to the way I think high-end crafting systems should work. So we're definitely in favor of a scrap system. I know a lot of people agree about the scrap system, but this was something that needed to be fixed well over, you know, months ago. So he goes on to say, I'm actually working on a proposal, which is the red flag of the, you know, century here. So they have been talking about a scrap system for about six months now. And this is dumb where they're at. They're in a proposal stage right now. They haven't even designed up the concept and given XL Games the uh, proposal to the scrap system, which means it's going to take forever for the system to get implemented into the game because you have to code it, you have to create it, you have to bug test it. Uh, well, maybe not bug test it since this is XL Games and Tryon Worlds, but you have to do all the other stuff right there. So that right there will take a lot of time. Then there's also other auctions. It's like, my personal opinion is that it should involve elements of crafting, like potentially the ability to get an ionized scrap when you craft the Delphinite tier item, or maybe a scrap from a certain places in the library, like library bosses. So we're working on building that system right now, but it's definitely more appropriate time to introduce Ionod patterns. We just want to make sure that the method that you acquire them is in line with the progression of the system that is attained by the people who need them. And that it isn't something just ridiculous RNG chance um, of a drop rate, because that's not fun for anyone. So, wow. So... If you say you don't want an RNG system, well, if you're adding it to a boss monster in the library or a dungeon run, that's going to be an RNG drop system unless you're guaranteed a 100% drop rate in there. And then that kind of... Uh, so you're going to have your RNG systems no matter what. The merit badge system is actually probably a lot better. It doesn't have an RNG element to it. You do get randomly generated quests to do every day. But they do all kinds of different things. And, of course, Excel Games could tweak those Merit Badge System quests to uh, include new content if you're worried about, you know, players not doing the newest and greatest content that has being offered, uh, new dungeons and things like that. So that's a very easy fix. Granted, uh, Merit Badges can be acquired by level 10 characters, you know, doing workers' comps. Uh, and spending a thousand labor, like Krollin said, but if the, the Ionod designs cost 700 to 1,000 merit badges, like I propose, that's going to be 700 to 1,000 days if they just log in to do 1,000 labor every day, and that takes, you know, well over two years to actually get an Ionod design pattern, which I don't think there's going to be an issue there. Overall, he's blowing it out of proportion, so we found out the reason why we're not getting the Ionod designs. It's all Krollin's fault. So, Blowing up on the forums, blowing up on Reddit. Post your feedback on this down below in the comments. Post it on the forums. Post it in Reddit. 
And yeah, get the ball moving. Uh, tell how pissed off Krolin you are if you are pissed off in this. If you are in favor, tell Krolin you're in favor of waiting around for uh, the Ionide scrap system to be put in place. Yeah, let us know. Let us know your feedback. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. Don't uh, you know? Don't worry. Don't. It's not about liking the uh, Krolin proposed Ionide design delay. It's just for visibility of the video and helping out the channel here, guys. So hit that like button.